Hi all, it's that special time. There is a maximum 80% off all courses at the moment, maximum possible discount codes to use. So if you go to kingscrusher.tv, you should get this page and see this message. And I have a new course which was high up in the poll that was made on the community tab of the King's Crusher channel. So there was a lot of interest in a course on visualization. So here it is. I had a lot of fun doing this. It approaches visualization from many, many different angles. And if we look to click expand all sections, it's over 20 hour, eight hours in length. Quite a lot of it is actually practical exercises. There is an introduction where I, I kind of highlight a lot of the issues that I found in practicing the harder examples. So this could be very useful for even intermediate to advanced players potentially, but especially beginners to immediate, intermediate players will, I think, find this course useful. So the introduction video is very interesting, getting a lot of the crystallized ideas and principles for having a better visualization in the mind's eye. There's a section on coordinates and color training. There's even been some software creators specifically for this course to train on both coordinates and colors of squares. So it actually has the use of checkmate puzzles with different levels of difficulty. And sometimes there are variations to look at as well to visualize. So the emphasis is not particularly on this making decisions for great moves. It's being able to follow it in the mind's eye clearly, but you are asked for the final checkmate. So I've kind of minimized the need for decision making and maximized the need for visualizing. And also there are, I kind of encourage the students of this course to even try and look at it just in the mind's eye without any board in front. So that's even going a step further. And with that extra step, you might even be able to do practice away from the computer and even weeks later from certain amazing positions in this course. So it's, you know, these difficulty levels are measured by the average difficulty voted at Chessbold actually for the, the mate puzzles in question. So it goes up some difficulty levels. So there's quite a lot of puzzles to check out. It's all a lot of fun. Otherwise I wouldn't, you know, create it like this. I thought this would be the most fun way to put an emphasis on visualization, clear visualization. And you can see me struggling when I, I try and do things blindfold in this course. Uh, so that's that's probably a lot of sadistic fun as well. Ain't <laughs> me struggling, but any major issues, as I say, I've highlighted those major issues that I discovered in the intro videos. So for example, captures, sometimes I felt I wasn't clearing out the pieces in the mind's eye. Sometimes also just moving a piece which is heavily kind of scrutinized in the position in front of you might be a distraction. The position in front of you might be in conflict with your you know, forecast position that you're anticipating. So those kind of issues, I've kind of put ways of dealing with those issues in the introduction videos. So yeah, the, the hards of the, uh, the, the puzzles I found actually sometimes the more intense the lessons, the, the exposure of issues. One big finding as well, quite early on in this course, is that chess's short notation in itself is a bit of a cheat because it might not be testing. Did you actually know where the, the start squares of pieces were? So that was a very, very interesting finding, which I've mentioned as well. So all of the exercises could actually be made more difficult that if you could visualize it, in the mind's eye and also specify start squares as well as end squares. I think that's very, very interesting as well as some detail about what was captured, for example, or what what bishops have been liberated or closed. So those kind of details really test, did you actually have a clear visualization of the positions in question? So there are also uh, this other very interesting angle uh, is sprinkled in for checkmating just from raw game scores, read raw game scores and try and find the final checkmate. There's a PGN of the puzzles used in the course. So yes, I think it's quite an interesting course and more angles could be added later. This, you know, these courses evolve. So I hope you really check out this course. So if you go to Kingscrusher TV and then click 
uh, you'll have you'll see that you know it's a big discount at the moment four days left at this price because what it's done is it, it's applied the coupon code from the King's Crusher page so you know late July 23 best is applied and that's why it's at such a reduced price so I hope you check it out and let me know if you know this course really helps you visualize more and maybe it really improves your results because unlike some deep opening theory for example this is really something in every game that it could help you in every single game you play so it's a really kind of core skill of chess which has been understated by a lot of you know literally kind of taken for granted with more an emphasis on on deciding moves and not actually being able to keep track of position so this is a very very interesting skill which helps decision making helps evaluation of positions because the clearer you can be in the mind's eye the better generally speaking okay thanks so much